Hello there, sweetheart, and welcome to the Sharon Benford Show, where we talk about all things fabulous. This week, we're going to be talking about donations and the best way to make your donations count. You might have something that you never use, but in today's economy, you really do need to donate those things. The first step is finding a cause that meets your needs, a cause that needs the things that you don't want in your house anymore. You may not know this about me, but... I used to play lacrosse growing up. It was a timeless sport. For me, it's time that I don't play that sport anymore. So when one of my old teammates and her sweet and loving heart decided to put together a lacrosse camp for inner city kids to play, this is my opportunity to give back. Once you've found a cause that meets your needs, you need to search your house for those things. It might take you hours. That is your civil duty to give back. After searching my house for hours, I finally found crossbows and goggles. Once you've got your donations together, it's important to make sure that they're clean. You don't want to be known as the girl that gave dirty donations. Let me get to cleaning these balls. Oh, wait, I forgot. They're the cross bottles. They're going to go roll around in the dark. Are you ready for me? Because I don't know if you're ready for me. I got my lax goggles on. I'm ready. Don't mess with me now. I'm ready to go. Safety first, kids. Now, remember, donating should be really working for you. This is an important step. You want to write your name on everything that you donate so that everybody knows that you are kind-hearted and sweet as pie. The hardest part of it all is to actually take it to the donation site. You might want to wait a couple weeks to go to the... That way it spreads out how many times you get to talk to someone about giving away stuff as a donation. You're going to do it. Then you talk about how you had to go and find all this stuff and you finally found it. And then you get to go drop it off. And then after that, you get to tell people that you did that. That's really, there was a lot of steps in the And me, I made a YouTube video about it. There was this one girl. She was at least five inches taller than me. This girl, six, seven inches, ten inches. She's a foot taller than me. She's so strong. Okay, so the centers, they take a ball and they stick it in between their sticks and then they flip the ball up and jump up and catch it. My stick just kept moving back and the ref called, called on me. But no, it was this girl. She, this is one of my favorite moves to do. Favorite. Running, you're running and you go, oh, oh, and then you switch it around. That was it. I hope you had fun today on the Sharon Benford Show and that you learned how to give a donation that tells people that you are fabulously philanthropic. Where are you going? I wanted to play some lacrosse with you. I'll teach you how to play lacrosse. Let's do this. I love lacrosse. Philanthropic.